The Western Cape is a province of South Africa, situated on the southwestern coast of the country. It is the fourth largest of the nine provinces with an area of 129,449 square kilometers, and the third most populous, with an estimated 7 million inhabitants in 2020. About two-thirds of these inhabitants live in the metropolitan area of Cape Town, which is also the provincial capital. The Western Cape was created in 1994 from part of the former Cape Province. The two largest cities are Cape Town and George. The Western Cape Province is roughly L-shaped, extending north and east from the Cape of Good Hope, in the southwestern corner of South Africa. It stretches about 400 kilometers. It is bordered on the north by the Northern Cape and on the east by the Eastern Cape. The total land area of the province is 129,462 square kilometers. Nine about 10.6% of the country's total. It is roughly the size of England or the state of Louisiana. Its capital city and largest city is Cape Town. And some other major cities include Stellenbosch, Worcester, Pal, and George. The Garden Route and the Overberg are popular coastal tourism areas. The Western Cape is the southernmost region of the African continent with Cape Agulhas as its southernmost point, only 3,800 kilometers from the Antarctic coastline. The coastline varies from sandy between capes, to rocky to steep and mountainous in places. The only natural harbor is Saldana Bay on the west coast, about 140 kilometers north of Cape Town. However, a lack of fresh water in the region meant that it has only recently been used as a harbor. The province's main harbor was built in Table Bay, which in its natural state was fully exposed to the northwesterly storms that bring rain to the province in winter, as well as the almost uninterrupted dry southeasterly winds in summer. But fresh water coming off Table Mountain and Devil's Peak allowed the early European settlers to build Cape Town on the shores of this less than satisfactory anchorage. The province is topographically exceptionally diverse. Most of the province falls within the Cape Fold Belt, a set of nearly parallel ranges of sandstone-folded mountains of Cambrian or Division age. The height of the mountain peaks in the different ranges vary from 1,000 meters to 2,300 meters. The valleys between ranges are generally very fertile as they contain the weathered loamy soils of the Bokavailed mudstones. The far interior forms part of the Karoo. This region of the province is generally arid and hilly with a prominent escarpment that runs close to the province's most inland boundary. The escarpment marks the southwestern edge of South Africa's central plateau. It runs parallel to the entire South African coastline except in the very far northeast, where it is interrupted by the Lampopo River Valley and the far northwest where it is interrupted by the Orange River Valley. The 1,000 km long northeastern stretch of the escarpment is called the Drakensberg, which is geographically and geologically quite distinct from the Cape Fold Mountains, which originated much earlier and totally independently of the origin of the escarpment. The principal rivers of the province are the Berg and Olifon which drain into the Atlantic Ocean, and the Breed and Goritz which drain into the Indian Ocean. The vegetation is also extremely diverse, with one of the world's seven floral kingdoms almost exclusively endemic to the province, namely the Cape Floral Kingdom, most of which is covered by Finbosch. These evergreen heathlands are extremely rich in species diversity, with at least as many plant species occurring on Table Mountain as in the entire United Kingdom. It is characterized by various types of shrubs, thousands of flowering plant species and some grasses. With the exception of the silver tree, Leucodendron argentium, which only grows on the granite and clay soils of the Cape Peninsula. Open finbosch is generally treeless except in the wetter mountain ravines where patches of Afromontane forest persist. The arid interior is dominated by Karoo drought resistant shrubbery. The west coast and Little Karoo are semi arid regions and are typified by many species of succulents and drought resistant shrubs and acacia trees. The garden route on the south coast is extremely lush, with temperate rainforest covering many areas adjacent to the coast, in the deep river valleys and along the southern slopes of the Outaniqua mountain range. 
typical species are hardwoods of exceptional height, such as yellowwood, stinkwood and ironwood trees. The Western Cape is also climatologically diverse, with many distinct micro and macro climates created by the varied topography and the influence of the surrounding ocean currents. These are the warmer Agulhas current which flows southwards along South Africa's east coast and the cold Benguela current which is an upwelling current from the depths of the South Atlantic Ocean along South Africa's west coast thus climatic statistics can vary gra.